Have you ever wondered what lock picking was like back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, say six or seven years ago when I first started making lock picking videos? Guys, back then we only had two choices. You could either buy junky tools and you could modify them hoping that they would work in the locks, or if you wanted something a little higher quality, you could make your own tools. And for the most part, we made them out of feeler gauge or we made them out of windshield wiper inserts. Thankfully, those days are gone. The quality is has improved dramatically over the last six or seven years. And if you want to know why, stick around. We'll talk about it. Well, back when I started making lock picking videos, there might have been three or four thousand lock pickers on the planet. That's it. This is Memorial Day weekend. I was just talking to one of the manufacturers and they were telling me when they sent out their announcements for their sales, his mailing list is over 340,000 lock pickers. So in, in six or seven years, we have grown from a few thousand to 340,000 at least. So there's your answer, guys. You have made the difference. You have influenced the marketplace. You have decided that the quality and the variety of picks needed to be improved over the years. I'm going to prove that to you. I'm going to use um, a company called Multipick. You guys have seen many of these kits before. So it is, like I said, Memorial Day. This is a great opportunity to review some great kits and at the same time have a historic giveaway at the end. Anyway, this is the original multi-pick kit. They're one of the original old country <laughs> manufacturers. They're located in Germany. If you wanted to buy a multi-pick kit just a few years ago, you had to go to Germany. That was the only place. You had to send your money uh, to one single location. Now they've spread around the world, and that's because they've listened to us, and they've adapted, they've changed to the changing marketplace. And, of course, they're motivated by money like everybody else. Larger marketplace, they can sell more kits. So let's take a look at this. This was their original kit. It's kind of the old school kit. I looked at this uh, quite a while ago. I'll put the links to all of these kits uh, down in the description. If you're curious about the details of any one in particular, you can go down there and click the link. For those of you who haven't seen these before, I'm going to very briefly go over some of the characteristics of the multi-pick uh, construction. This is typical in all the kits. They're almost identical. In, well, they are identical in construction. They measure 23 thousandths of an inch thick stainless steel, um, which is equal to 0 0.6 millimeters in thickness. Each of these picks are numbered with the part number. It's on each side of the blade. So if you break it, you know which which uh, pick you need to reorder. The handles, they were one of the first to come out with these sandwich stainless steel handles. It's comfortable to hold. They've engraved uh, their logo on one side. So if you're a European picker where the pins are on the bottom, uh, you're looking at the multi-pick logo. If you're a North American picker and you roll it over, you're looking at some pretty cool etchings of some lock picking tools on the other side. So either way, they've got engraving. In addition, they've got not only their company, but it tells you the kit number, their individually serial number, which is quite unusual. And also it's unusual to have the manufacturer date. This, by the way, this is one company that uses as a marketing tool. If you have multi-picks, write down all your serial numbers and then watch the weekly drawing for your serial number. And they do it randomly and you can win some pretty cool stuff. So again, a marketing, a marketing technique for these guys. On the original kit, they sold thousands and thousands of these to locksmiths. And it's a great little kit, but let's face it, it's a little bit dated. You guys pointed that out when I did uh, my first review. We've got a total of, I said, 27 pieces. Uh, a lot of them picks here. We have all of the hooks. We got a pretty good, well, excellent selection of hooks and a good selection at the time of different rakes. We got the single ball, double ball. We have three different, at that time was quite extraordinary, three different snake rakes. The standard one, offset, and then one with a slightly different frequency. And then we had the W rake for the kinetic attacks. These were all very standard tools at that time. Um, we had a good selection of tension wrenches, and this was one of the first kits to include an extractor. It is the only kit that I'm aware of that offered a complete set of postal hooks. We had a, a tensioner here for wafer locks, and then we had a double-sided tensioner here for those of you guys who only like to carry one. They gave it to you. And then we had a, a tensioner here for shutter locks. So a pretty all-inclusive kit. But, you know, when I did the review, you guys looked at it and you said, meh. 
you know, I really wish that thing had some more rakes. And at that time, Bogotas were really taken off. And that was the rake of choice. And in fact, it still is, along with several different variations. So multi-pick, listen to your comments. And I'm sure they got some poor techie guy sitting in a cave somewhere, pouring over every single word that you write in the comments, just trying to find some competitive advantage, some way to get ahead of all the other manufacturers by changing something up, improving their kit, and giving you some new tools that you were asking for. Well, let's take a look at what they came up with as a result of the view of this Elite uh, 27 pick set. Well, when those multi-pick designers came back from that drawing board, here is what they've come up with. You notice they didn't just take a triple peek, throw it into the Elite 27 and call it done. Instead, they read through all the comments of the reviews of their Elite 27 where people requested specific picks and decided on which ones to include. And that's what we got ended up with. We ended up with a double peek. By the way, they called this the Bogota 7-piece Elite pick set. Sells for $38. So we got a double peek. We got the traditional triple peak Bogota. We have kind of an unusual a quad peak. Only one other organization offers this, and that would be a lock picking organization, Tool. Um, we came up with Ariena, and the reason they throw this in is because a fellow named Skyler Town won several international competitions using this rake to get into locks very quickly and set some world records. Excellent one to include in the kit. And then the last one is a proprietary pick. They were getting complaints that our Bogotas were breaking when we try to use them for kinetic attacks. They break our out right there. They took a Bogota, they reinforced it, they slimmed it down just a little bit, and they, that allows us to use this uh, for kinetic attacks, as well as rocking and normal raking. It's really a multi-purpose pick. As I said, they called this the Bogota 7 because they included two tension wrenches. They have a thin one and a thicker one. Pretty standard. Well, a lot of talk about why do I need all these different rakes? What's the difference between, say, a double and a quadruple? And I'll show you. This was designed, as I said, for lock sport. And lock sport's all about speed. So let me put my tension in here and I'm going to show you something. I got a cutaway. We take a double and we have a pick that doesn't have very much reach. Now, here we have six pins. Ignore that last one. He's the core retainer. So when we want to rake these, we look at the range of motion. I've got to slide them in back and forth quite a distance, very quickly trying to rake those pins into place. Now, of course, it's going to happen really fast because rakes are very efficient picking tools. But I do have to waste a lot of unnecessary motion going back and forth. Get their tension right, Bill. And there we go. We got an open. Pick's caught, though. So you saw the range of motion. It takes extra time going back and forth, back and forth. Well, if you have a quadruple peak, now notice this guy. He extends the entire range of the keyway, all six pins. So we don't have to yank him back and forth, back and forth. We can basically oscillate him on very short strokes and have the same effect over all six pins at the same time as we did with those very long strokes using the, uh, the, tw the twin peak. So again, slide them in, apply a little tension, and very short strokes, and very quick open. It's all about competition, and that's why they decided to include the quad peak. Well, i got to tell you, when I did the review of this, a lot of you guys said, yeah, that's really nice, that's pretty cool, but yeah, it's really, how about more? We want more. Well, multi-pick went back to the drawing board. Let me show you what they came up with. Well, after three or four months of effort, the multi-pick designers came up with this. It's actually an expansion of uh, the first kit, of the seven-piece kit. We have the seven-piece here. We have the double. We got the triple. We have the quadruple. We have the multi-pick uh, proprietary rake pick. And then we have the, what they started to call at this point the Riena 1. The reason they called it the Riena 1 is because in the lock sport community, in some of the competitions, they had come up with a new Riena, and they called this the Riena 2. Very similar, but you notice it's smoothed off slightly different profile, and a lot of the competitors started using that, so Multipick included it in this kit. The other three picks that were very popular at the time and remain popular are is the Sabana, which is this guy, this double peak one, and his two cousins here, what they call the Monserrats. The Montserrat aft, with the humps in the in the back, or the aft part, and the Montserrat four, where the two humps are in the forward or fore part. 
And the last one they decided to throw in, I think it's more for people like me who are anal retentive. I mean, they gave me a double, they gave me a triple, they gave me a quadruple. Well, you know what? It really would be nice to have a single to kind of round that out. Make, you know, symmetry, the secret of life, right? This is what they came up with. They also came up with another tensioner because you guys said, hey, I want more tensioners. And they threw in the one that was most often requested. A lot of guys don't like keeping up with two, a fat one and a thin one. They want both in one. And that's what you get here. You get a fat on one end and you got the thin on the other. One tool fits both keyways. This is what they came up with. Excellent kit. They, this sells for $72, still for sale today. Um, but you guys looked at this and in your reviews, you started saying things like, hey, where'd all the hooks go? How come there's no hooks in that kit? We want an all-inclusive kit. We want all of that, plus we want all the hooks, and we want some more tensioners, too. We want more, more, more. Well, back to the drawing board. When the multi-pick designers came back from the drawing room, this is what they had. It's basically one of every profile that multi-pick makes. It's a combination of the multi-pick Elite 27 and the multi-pick Elite 13 rake kit. Every single piece is in there, everything you've seen so far. On top of that, they expanded the collection of tensioners too. We got three additional bottom of the keyway tensioners. A lot of you guys, I think particularly in Europe, you wanted some postal tensioners, so they included a, uh, the complete set of four postal lock tensioners here. They included a wafer lock tensioner here and a shutter lock tensioner here. Basically everything you need to pick almost anything. A combination of the Elite 27 and the Elite Bogota 13. You guys took one look at this. By the way, they call this the Elite Super 37-piece pick set. It's incredible. All in a nice leather case. Sells for $170. Still for sale today. This is probably one of their top-selling kits. But, you know, some of the comments said, you know what? I feel bad. I have buyer's regret because I just bought this less than a year ago. I bought this Elite 17. What am I going to do, man? You got something better, and now I feel like I'm already falling behind the times. Back to the drawing board. All right, guys, multi-pick heard you. Those designers, when they came back, what they decided to do, they don't want any of us to have buyer's remorse. They want our kits to be constantly upgradable, and that's what they've done. They created this kit. They call it the Upgrade Kit to upgrade your view from the Elite 27 to the Elite 37. It's all of the missing picks. It's really the difference between the Elite 27 and the Elite 37. So you get 10 additional picks. The majority of these are the updated rakes. Uh, kind of hard to spread all of these out, but I think you get the idea. There's all 10 of them right there. And when you add these to that kit for $51.35, in effect, you have an Elite 37. Guys, this is not an anomaly. All of the lockpicking companies are trying to do this. We're, we're a force. The tribe, the lock sport tribe is a, a market mover. They're going to pay attention to what you have to say, guys. So don't hesitate. If the, you see something you'd like to see, something you like or don't like, put it in the comments. I promise you they're reading the comments, they're paying attention, and they're modifying their market strategy and their products to make them better, to give you and me exactly what we want. Well, guys, you're looking at a two-year timeline of Multipick's product improvement program, all due to your comments, to the power of the Locksport community. When you guys make comments, believe me, they're listening to us. They're improving their product. They're giving us better stuff. They're giving us a wider variety of stuff. Only because you guys are looking at reviews, you're buying stuff, and you're sending comments back to them to tell them how to make things better. It's paying off. There's 340,000 of us. How could they not listen to us? Keep it up, guys. The power of the tribe will make everything better for all of us. All right, I'm going to have four giveaways. It is Memorial Day weekend. It's only right that we have an appropriate uh, sized celebration. Uh, all courtesy of Multipick, by the way. Um, I'm going to be giving away the Multipick 13 Elite, uh, 13 piece Elite Bogota kit, the Bogota 7 piece Elite kit, and then what's basically two Bogota 37 piece Super elite kits. I'm going to give one of them away with the plus up kit to save a little postage. So you got 237 kits there to win. If you'd like to win this, and I can't believe there's anybody out there, any of the 340,000 that won't try to register for this one. All right, guys, there's the website. You notice it's Lock Lab without the hyphen now. I managed to talk the old domain 
uh, name uh, holder uh, into giving it to me. Well, not quite giving, but I got it. One less hyphen to type in now. Go there to register. With a little luck, you'll be a lucky winner of one of these fantastic kits next weekend when my webmaster draws the names. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.